things and uh, tonight and share share some of our journey right up front uh, so you will know that uh, uh, we don't live here in Dallas. We still li live in Magnolia, Arkansas, or in that bus most of the time out there. Uh, and so, uh, praise we, God for the bus. Amen. <laughs> Even though it's got a million two on it, uh, you know God's got a new one sitting out there, and I pray we find it this weekend. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> right out here in Dallas, wouldn't that be a blessing? Why? It's just broke in. <laughs> it's broke in. Yes, sir. But. Uh, Penny and I uh, are full-time traveling evangelists. That's what we do. Uh, we, we travel the country preaching and singing. And so we uh, found ourselves 22 months ago, overweight, sick and tired of being sick and tired. Uh, and when, uh, when the Lord comes to you in the middle of the night as you're driving at 2 o'clock in the morning, about 40 miles west of Nashville, Tennessee on I-40 and taps you on the shoulder. And there's nobody else in that bus awake. Everybody else is in their bunks asleep and I'm driving. And says, how are you going to do what I want you to do? And you won't take care of yourself. At 53 years old, it was a wake-up call. I knew better. I knew that I was not eating correctly. I knew that I had no idea. Uh, the only thing that I knew was I liked fried chicken, mashed potatoes, cornbread, and biscuits. And they showed. And I, and I was hooked on diet drinks. And uh, I kidded myself that I could was eating healthy. I could drink, uh, Miss Belinda, a couple of bottles of water. You know, I like that. And I could peel an orange at 70 miles an hour going down the interstate faster than you've ever seen. So I was fooling myself. And so we had just left Kentucky and Penny had, had told me at this convention, she said, you're killing yourself. And I said, no, I'm not. And she said, yes, you are. And I said, no, I'm not. And she said, well, you're killing me. She said, I've got to do something about it. She was borderline diabetic, our breakfast of champions, a Diet Coke and a honey bun. Mm -hmm. Breakfast of champions. So, you know, that's the thing. And so we both made a... Penny got on the phone, contacted a longtime friend of ours, and from that point, uh, we met up with her. I'm going to get Penny to come and to share a portion of, the, of that, and then we'll go back from there. That way, I like to do it from different perspectives, and that way, um, this is my wife, Penny. We have been married coming up here on Saturday. And so Saturday anniversary gifts are welcome. Um, we will be married 34 years. Oh, 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 oh. How did we do it, Penny? How did we do it? How did you do it? It's a lot of prayer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but seriously, um, I am his helpmate, and I wanted to be the very best I could be. And I found myself struggling every day to make it through the day all day without naps. And we were running thousands of miles in a week, and so. I just, um, the Lord spoke to me too. And so when we got home, as he said, from Somerset, Kentucky, I had two days off the road. And I told him, I said, I've got to do something, so can you meet with me? And Renee said, yes, you could. And so anyway, I made up my mind up from day one uh, that I was going to do this. Matter of fact, before I ever got home on the bus, I'm like Googling it, I'm trying to search it out. I'm like, Miss Belinda, I'm gonna know everything about it before I'm getting involved in it. <laughs> so I had figured out what she was doing. And for me, I, it was obvious that um, if I was gonna do it, I was gonna do it 100%. I don't do anything part-time. Part it's just not the person I am. Right, Michelle? She's known me for a long time. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, I, um, I looked at it from a business standpoint as much as I did from a weight loss. Because as he said, we're, we're full-time evangelists. We live off love offerings. We shut down a full-time business uh, that we had owned for 17 years and went into full-time ministry in a 24-hour in a notice. So mm -hmm. God spoke to him, we shut it down, and we went. We had never gone off the road, but we continued on the road. And so anyway, struggling financially for several years because we live off love offerings and there's a lot of love in those offerings. Mm -hmm. uh, but that, that didn't fill up the bus and it didn't do all the things that it takes to run a business on the business side of the ministry. And so anyway, I decided that I was going to do it for myself to get myself healthy. But when I did that, I found that not only wanted to do that, that it was so inspiring to be able to share what it was doing for me and share it with you and share it with you. And so the business just, it just evolved. 
And so if you look at it from that mindset, you'll, it'll never be a hobby for you, and it'll never be an expense. It will be, it'll, it's the best investment you will ever make on yourself. And I went from wearing size 16 jeans to twos, and I've maintained it a year, year and two months. And um, I've done that about, I did it about six months. Um, I was over 200 pounds when I started, and I've lost 70 pounds today. And um, I just totally different, 20 years younger. I mean, I'm doing things that I used to do with the kids. In six weeks, I was playing beach volleyball with the kids in Florida. Mm -hmm. And uh, parasailing and zip lining, and I have the energy. I have the, 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 the go juice now. I mean, I've got my life back. And uh, my desire is just to, to meet, help you meet your goal, whatever it is. If it is financial, if it's to lose 10 pounds, that, if that's where you want to be at, that's, you know, this company can do it. Uh, I'm 100% behind every product that they have. Uh, I can tell you that there's only three things I'm going to ask you to do, and it's not to go to workout gym every day. And that, although that's good and, and healthy, I, I really have not entered a gym, and I've not walked a track since I've been on this program. I'm going to ask you to follow the menu guide, I'm going to ask you to drink the water uh, to keep your body hydrated, and I'm going to ask you to take the supplements as, as set up in the kids. That's it. If you will do those three things, there's not a person in this room or anywhere that won't be successful with this. Those three things, and that's, I always go back to that belief. When somebody says, you know, oh, I didn't lose anything the last three days. Well, tell me how much water you drank. Tell me what foods you ate and tell me what supplements because people tend to fall back into those routines and modify it and you know if we had the answers we'd all be skinny we'd all already be there this is proven 26 years with first fitness nutrition it's not a fly-by-night company it's been around 26 years it's proven like all we got to do is follow it so um i love it i love the products i love the income uh, but on that standpoint, I don't know if you want me to go into a little bit of that. Um, it's blessed us where we can go, and not not we were home 60 nights last year. If that gives you an idea, and uh, from California to Florida four or five times, we've been into the uh, Mexico, we've been to West Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky, just and all across we sweep the the South anyway. Can you share this in Mexico, or do they not trade things? It's yeah. available in Bahamas. You can take it to the Bahamas. And um, to ship over there, you would have to have an individual, and you would have to personally box it and ship it. Yeah. The company does not ship, uh, except to the Bahamas. That's it. Okay. Thank you. So um, it's just been a, on, the, on the financial side. It's been very beneficial on that. There's eight ways to make, you know, there's eight ways to make money with our, our business. We've won two luxury vacations in two years. We'll be going in uh, four, about four weeks. Yes. About four weeks on the second seven day uh, cruise, which is completely paid for for both of us, not just one of us. And uh, six months into it, we qualify for a Mercedes. And if you'll look on, the, when you go down the hall here on the right, our picture, is up there and six months into it we qualified for Mercedes and we waited a few months because we were on the road really we were on the road and we wanted to make sure that our uh, it would, our business would stay stable enough and all and so we got home last year and picked up the Mercedes and they pay for, for it every month for us and so there's just so many different ways I mean to, to make money and enjoy it and and I don't I don't Touch a clock every day, yeah. and that means a lot to us just yeah. to be free to go. And just, you know, we've been self-employed for so many years, and I don't know how I don't know how to do that anymore. I yes, I'd have to. You know, I have to learn one day. But for this season of my life, it's just been perfect for us. Thank you. And uh, as Penny was sharing, when we got in and 